Hi there, my name is Wayne. I'm going to do a video presentation of the 2007 Peugeot 307 1.6 S Estate. It's, uh, it's got some, like, 14 service stamps in the service book, recent clutch, recent timing belt and water pump. It's a nice clean car, seven seater, pan roof, ice cold air conditioning. So, uh, well, let's have a look see what you think. So, like you see, you can see it's a 2007 07. It's got the front fog lights, the front bumper itself, really nice clean condition. Obviously, there's always going to be odd stone chip on there, just simply because of the age and the mileage of the vehicle. But nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary to report. Same story for the bonnet area, nice and clean, no indentations. Obviously, there's always going to be odd stone chip on there again because of the age. You can see it's got the it's got the alloys. There's loads of tread left on the tyres as well. The uh, Near side front door and sill area, nice and clean. As is the rear door and rear wing. I think there is a shopping trolley dent on the uh, the near side rear door, but again, it's no more than expect due to the age and the mileage of the car. Working our own to the rear. So again, you can see tailgate, nice clean condition. It does need a rear wiper blade, which we'll be sorting out tomorrow. But again, you can see the rear bumper, nice and clean. It's not loads of scuffs on the edge of the bumper. It's not heavily marked where people have dragged things in and out of the boot area. Again, working out onto the driver's side, you can see rear wing, nice and clean. As the rear door, front door, and front wing. Like I said, the alloys are pretty clean as well considering the age and the mileage of the vehicles obviously the odd blemish on there but they're not heavily scuffed by any means if we uh, if we look to the interior so you notice it has got the sixth and seventh rear seat obviously any of the five seats to the rear can be either taken out or drop down swapped about such as that so they're quite a versatile car really you'll see it has got the parcel shelf obviously that can't come out and obviously it's got your rear seat belts the full size spare wheel is carried underneath the vehicle again you'll see it's got the rear trays with the rear map holders there's a lot loads of kickbacks up the back seats the rear carpets are pretty much like new to be fair all the seats are really clean like I say the middle seat you can drop down into a table if you want like I say you can take any one of the three seats out at the back and then any one of the two further seats you'll see it has got the full glass panoramic roof if I look to the driver's area so you'll see it's got the electric windows at the front with the electric mirrors there is two keys of the car you'll be pleased to know. You can see the driver's seat itself, nice clean condition. It is height adjustable as well, with the armrests for the front seats. Same story for the uh, passenger seat. Again, really nice and clean. Not showing any real signs of wear at all. All the door cappings, dashboard area. Again, all lovely clean condition. 107,000 miles, like I say, it's got your cruise control, it's got your ice cold air conditioning, so like I say, it is working nicely. You've got your deadlock system with your computer, obviously it's CD player, 5 speed gearbox, charging point, twin cup holders, your passenger airbag you can turn off, and there is a blind as well. So you can cover the panoramic roof if you want, because obviously if it's a red hot day, it can get quite hot with the panoramic roof. Um, main advantage of this car is the history and the owners. So you'll see it's only two owners from new. The first owner was actually Motability Finance. So it's Motability plus one private owner. It's uh, MOT'd until the 11th of July, 2021 like i said earlier it's had a new timing belt kit fitted a new water pump and that was done june 2018 in may 2019 
it's had a clutch and flywheel assembly. Like I say, there is two keys of the car, and the main advantage, like I say, is the history. So if we have a look, Peugeot at 635, Peugeot at 7,900, Car People at 9,300, um, then he's gone to an independent dealer at 21,000, 33,000, 52,000, 61,000, 68, 74, 80. Um, it's been serviced at 88. Uh, timing belt at 92. Serviced at 99,000. Then just serviced 105,840 June 2020. It's like I say, two owners from new, two keys, absolutely impeccable service history and a nice clean car as well. I'll show you one final view of the vehicle. Hope you found the video informative and look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much.